Well, we were very fortunate in the fact that we received from the American Chestnut Foundation uh, some, some chestnuts, nuts, and they gave us 12 of them. And these are the nuts that they have been developing over the last many, many years by backcrossing American chestnut with Chinese chestnut. And doing so, they have given these American chestnuts resistance to the blight. So we're hoping that this, this, these trees will survive. What we're doing here is just getting some of that vegetative matter out, because that's going to end up as competition to our seedling when it comes up. Yeah, that's, that's nice dirt. This is just potting soil. They say to mix it about 50%. Just give it some, you know, it's real tight in there now, and it just gives it a little bit of uh, uh, space for it to grow. Mix a little water, get a little damp, makes a good median to grow in. It was recommended to us by the folks that, that grew the, the, the nuts to use flashing around the seed to keep the mice and other critters from eating the seed especially when they come in from underground. So this will go in the ground just slightly and the nut will go inside uh, with, with all the growing medium. And that's all it is, just an extra layer of protection. And we split these because we've got to remove them. The tree gets up pretty good size, you don't want this around it. So we'll split them now rather than trying to split them when the, when the time comes because a lot will damage the tree if we split them later. This is what was sent us. It's got a number on it. Now that means something to the folks, the folks that grew it that tells about the generations and where it came from and this kind of thing. So it means something to them. It's the batch. And we have uh, 12 of these in here. See, they've already sprouted. And they've got a radical coming out. And that's what's going to be eventually roots. And when you plant them, you plant them flat, flat side down. This is the uh, nut, the American chestnut. And I'm flat side down with the radical down. And that's what we're going to do here in a minute. And so that'll go in first. That's the medium that it grows in. It gives it a start. Very precious. This is the nut. Uh, we have gave it some protection from the mice and stuff that come in on underground here with the, with the, uh, the can. We're going to lay this in there with the radical down, the nut flat to the radical down. Leave it flat. And they cut, they say cover it about an inch, half inch to an inch. And that's what we're doing. And just barely pack it down. You don't want to get it too tight. Filter down to the, to the roots over time, just bury it back. This is something we're both going to have to do. Let's check these guys, make sure they don't dry out. This is to keep the deer off of it if it does sprout. Hopefully. You want it on the inside or outside? It'd be better in there, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, if they push on it, they can be pushing against this post. It's pretty centered, isn't it? Pretty well. Well, we're just kind of holding it in this cage connected to the bar so that it can't be moved. I think we can do all right with a deer, but I'm not sure we'll have it protected from a bear. When I come back to water these things a little bit more in the next week or so, I'm gonna bring something to pin this cage down to the ground a little bit better. I failed to bring anything today, but I'll get it, get it next week. Yeah. All right, there's one.